Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the uh, in the previous video, we have learned how the cascading algorithm works in the four different distinct stages. We have seen it. Those stages are nothing but position and order of the appearance. Second one is the specificity. Third one is the origin, and the last one is the importance. So now let's try to see one by one each one by one. What is this meaning of this one? The first comes the position and order of the appearance. <clears throat> so that means position and order of the appearance means the order in which your CSS rules appear and how they appear is taken into consideration by the cascade while it can calculate the conflict resolution. Let's try to see about this example. For example, let's say that here we are having a button click here and here we are having a main.css file. So now if you try to see here in this one, in the main.css for this button we'll try to calculate we'll try to write the css so i am taking a button and here i will be applying the color red now automatically what will be the color of this one button it will be the the text color will be automatically it will be red if you try to see here let's see it. yeah the text color for this one is automatically it is red now for example let's say that now i am trying to do i am trying to overtake this one override this one by using color green so here the position and the order of the appearance is important so this button color green has appeared latest one so this is the latest instance of this selector so now what it will try to do is whatever the css we are having the latest one overridden this will be taken into consideration now if you try to see here so now the green color came why because that is the latest one which has came for example let's say that in this one we have an inline css okay sorry internal css i have mentioned this one style and here also i am applying color of blue okay now what i have seen what i have what i have written in the main.css we are having two css two styles that is nothing but color red and color green and in this one we have seen that the latest instance will be taken and it will be overridden so color green will be the output now here we are having the internal css now which one will be taken into consideration the same thing happens here so the position and order of the appearance the color green first when the CA, when the html executes the browser renders the page it will try to read this main.css it downloads this file and execute, executes the css file and when it executes the css file here it will see that the two selectors are there and it will override with the green color why because this is the latest one which has appeared and afterwards coming at, at the down then the button color has been again came so this will override with the latest one so now this one will be overridden because this is the latest one now the color will be blue if you try to see the output same the color will be blue so this is the order of the order of the position and the order of the appearance now for example let's say that the same style i have written at the top okay so will this make any sense so if you try to see then also what it will try to do the browser tries to execute this one so it has seen the style and it will try to execute this button okay the button color is blue and then afterwards after this one the style the css will be executed and here it will try to see that button color red and button color green and green is the latest one so this will be overridden and the button color will be green now if you try to see here the button color is green so this way the position and order of the appearance is the most important thing so don't think that internal css will be given more importance than the external css like that it doesn't happen that way so whatever the for whatever the uh, uh, whatever the thing so you are writing so how, whatever the order you are writing so the latest one will be taken into consideration okay that is the main thing position and order of the appearance now if you try to write inline css for this one if you try to write an inline css which one will be taken into preference so here i am writing color green not green hello so now whereas for the inline CSS, internal CSS, in sorry, inline CSS, the situation is different and this is, this will be taken the highest preference. If you try to see, so click here. So whatever the inline CSS, internal CSS, everything is there, this will be overridden. So this is about the position and order of the appearance. So inline CSS will be taken more importance or otherwise, so if it is an inline internal CSS or an external CSS, the position and order of the appearance is the more important thing. So that is one concept. And the next comes the specificity specificity we will try to learn more about the specificity 
so i will try to explain you orally so about the specificity also specificity is an algorithm which determine which determines which css selector is the most specific okay for example let's say that i will try to remove this style thing and also this one also so now if you try to observe here we are using the selector same so that means we are trying to apply the elements element selector for the button element try to apply the color red and try to apply the color green so we are using the same type of selectors so now if you try to see color green is the output fine now i am trying let's say that button is having a class class is equal to my button okay or btn class is equal to btn now what i will try to do here i will try to mention it as more specific button which is having a cl class of my button so this is the only css we have okay which is which is button so button which is of button now here the selector which i am using is the most specific one so here you will be able to see selector specificity we are using the strongest to match so here we are vaguely giving the element selector button and here we are selling that button which is having a class my button so strongest match we are trying to do now in this scenario color red will be taken into preference than the color green so position and order of the position and order wise color green is important now when we try to get the second point here this one has the more points so specificity when it comes to specificity this takes the more points so because of that reason this is in red color now this one will come red color specificity has to overtake in the selector thing so now another one what i want to tell you is the origin so the last one is the origin so origin means from where the css styles has been came so this css styles has been came from the external style sheet that is nothing but a other css other css means the developer css the developer is who has written so in this scenario you will be having different types of style sheets in the html when it is rendered for example if you try to see here for the button if i click inspect inspect element if i try to see it for this button here you will be able to see user agent style sheet okay this style sheet we are having some style sheets here if you try to observe here we are having some style sheets so this is called as an user agent style sheet so user agent style sheet means the style sheet which has been applied by the browser itself these are the styles that your browser applies to the html elements by default then afterwards comes the so this is this one is the first priority this one is the first priority it will apply so then the next priority what you will try to take is the local user styles so these styles comes from the operating system or the extensions that you are using in the chrome browser or any browser so these browsers extensions are the operating system so operating system will give you the base font size as 16 pixel so like this you will be having some um, css which comes from the extensions or the operating system so those will be taken as the next preference so that means first it will read the user agent then it will be taken uh, it will override with the local user style sheets then afterwards the next style sheet comes is the user style sheet that is nothing but a main.css which is the other written css other written css then it will be overridden so other written css will be taken care then afterwards other css which is having a not important so if any if any css not important is added for this one means then it will be taken as the important then afterwards local user style c local user styles so the, this one with a not important it will take it and last one is the user agent styles not important we will try to take it so this is how you will be taken care <clears throat> so if i want to show you this one so here if you try to see so like this it you will be having okay from least specific to the most specific so here user agent style sheet is the least specific one then afterwards local user styles that is nothing but operating system css or the extinction css then other css other css means the main.css file which the developers write the css user css we can say it then afterwards other css with uh, whatever the css we are having with not important then this one then afterwards like this like this it will go on so this is the least specific to the most specific this one is taken as the more important so this is one of the option and the last one is the not important so this is also one of the one of the main thing so now now for example let's say that whatever the scenarios it may be i want to apply this one so then you can use not important so whatever the means so we have mentioned it as not important then it will be taken from granted so we are freezing the selection now always the button color will be red only so if you try to say if you try to see always the button color will be red only wherever you write it you have mentioned this one as the important means so this one will be taken as the utmost priority and this not important will be applied 
so these are the four different stages how the cascading algorithm actually works so position and order of the appearance we have seen it when you write in the external css or internal css or inline css the position and order of the appearance how it will come it will take in care then afterwards comes the specificity we have discussed about the specificity also then afterwards the origin so origin means nothing but from where the css is coming that is nothing but user agent style sheets or user style sheets or other css like that and the last one is the important if you mention it as an uh, exclamatory important means then it is the same thing it, it will be taken as the utmost important so these are the four distinct stages that the cascade algorithm follows when it tries to apply the conflict css rules so hope you understood about this one cascading thing if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you